Hey guys, I'm Mike, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about some easy copywriting exercises that you can do today to start becoming a better copywriter. Copywriting exercise number one is repurposing existing copy. So the beauty with this copywriting exercise is that it's one that you can do almost anywhere, anytime, you just need to remember to do it. So this is an exercise where every time you see an ad or a piece of copy that you really like, that really resonates with you, you're gonna snap a picture of it on your phone and then study that picture of that copy later on in the day for you to try to figure out if you can figure out what's going on with the copy. What's it doing? Is it making a joke? What's it highlighting about a product? You're gonna study it, try to review it, try to figure that stuff out, and then try to see if you can apply a similar strategy to a different product entirely. So as an example, let's say you see an ad for a restaurant. Let's say it's a big billboard and there's a picture of one of the restaurant's dishes there and then the copy says, please do not try to eat this billboard. Snap a picture of something like that. What is that billboard trying to do? Well, in this case, it's pretty simple. This billboard is trying to showcase how delicious the food at this restaurant is. And it's also making a bit of a joke, implying that it's so delicious that people looking at this gigantic billboard with a picture of the food might actually try to take a bite out of the billboard. It's just a little bit of fun. So how can we use a similar strategy to this one for a different type of product? Well, the most basic thing to do would be to do a similar thing for just another food product. Something like, this ad isn't edible. Or on a massive billboard with a, a piece of food from a restaurant saying, not actual size, something silly like that. But that's not the best way to use this exercise, just applying the same concept to other food products. You can actually use this type of methodology that we kind of figured out, it's just a joke about food for other type of products. Let's say you're doing ad copy for a billboard, for an animal shelter that's trying to raise awareness to get their pets adopted. You could suggest that they do like a billboard with a bunch of cute little kittens on it. And then the copy you'd write would be something like, please don't pet this billboard. Or something like, come pet our adorable kittens were located on Highway 58. See what I mean? Same, same, but different from the initial example we talked about. Try to do this throughout the day as you come across billboards yourself and it'll help you become a better copywriter. Copywriting exercise number two is called forced writing. So this exercise is actually one that's pretty similar to one that I promoted in my beginner copywriting course video here on YouTube. But for this exercise, you're basically going to grab anything around you in your house. Grab one thing, grab it. Then go into your room or your desk, grab a piece of paper and start trying to write ad copy for that thing that you grabbed. Start with the goal of writing a two sentence ad, a piece of ad copy that is just two sentences in length. Once you've written your first piece of ad copy for this product, do it 10 more times. Then do it 20 more times, trying different approaches or strategies each time. Basically, sit there and force yourself to write some form of ad copy for this product, no matter how mundane or boring the product you picked was. This is a really powerful exercise because it does a couple different things. The first thing is it gets you into the habit of being able to sit down with zero inspiration, zero ideas of what you're going to write, and just getting those creative juices flowing on your own. It's also gonna help you practice writing various different variations of copy for a single product, which is probably something that some of your paid copywriting customers are gonna want you to do. They're gonna want a couple different options that they can A, B test or put up to their team of directors to decide which they like best. Copywriting exercise number three is called the elimination exercise. Elimination is a process where you take a piece of copy that you've written with the goal of cutting it down to size. I'd recommend doing this with some of the sample pieces of copy you've been writing as part of your practice exercises. Take a block of copy you wrote and your first goal should be, how can I make this 20% shorter. What words can I remove? Have I used extra words? Is there a lot of fluff? Sit there and try to do it. Try to make it 20% shorter while still retaining the meaning and the goal that copy is trying to accomplish. This might take you some time, but trust me, this is an insanely powerful exercise because with copywriting and other forms of writing, less is always more. If you're taking too many words to get your point across, you're doing a bad job and you're writing bad copy. So once you've shrunk that text by 20%, 
take a breather, go get a glass of water, come back and now do the same thing, but try to shrink it by 50%. You want to be able to explain what you need to explain in as few words as possible. And also by doing this exercise with your own writing, you'll start to realize and kind of point out certain words or phrases or maybe unnecessary cliches that you use that actually cheapen the quality of your work. You're able to edit them out and then it'll be burnt in your brain the next time around. So you just won't have so much fluff in your copy in the first place. It's an excellent exercise. Highly recommend you do this one often. Copywriting exercise number four is a simple one. Read. So yeah, probably the simplest exercise on this list is just to read. I know it sounds basic, but I'd be willing to bet that most of you watching this video who are interested in becoming a paid copywriter do not read every day. Nothing to be ashamed of. That's just the reality. It's it, there's stats all over the internet that that show this. Not very many people read on a daily basis, but you should, especially if you're trying to take this copywriting thing seriously. Part of becoming an excellent copywriter comes from having a solid grasp on the language you're trying to write in. Another part of being a great copywriter also comes from forming a robust vocabulary. Both of these things are things that you can learn and improve on by reading other people's work. And I'm not even just talking about reading other copy because that's kind of boring. Who wants to sit around all day and read ads? Just read stuff, read books, read poems, read documentaries, biographies, whatever you are interested in. Just get into the habit of reading and it will passively make you a better writer. It's the cheapest form of copywriting exercise you can do that'll improve you. And anyone can do it. Anyone who has access to a book or the internet can read and that will help you improve as a writer passively without even thinking about it. All right, so here's a quick summary of the copywriting exercises I've covered in this video. The first one is the repurposing existing copy exercise where you snap a picture of an ad you really like, analyze the ad later on, try to figure out what's going on with that ad, and then trying to write a similar type of ad for a different product. The second exercise was the forced writing exercise where you grab anything in your house, sit down and force yourself to write a bunch of ad copy about it. The third copywriting exercise we talked about was the elimination exercise where you take a piece of copy you've written and try to shrink it down by 20 or 50% to eliminate unnecessary words or phrases. And the fourth copywriting exercise was the one we just talked about was read, read something, read anything, do it often, do it every day. Hope this video was really helpful. Please feel free to leave me a comment. If you have any questions at all, I'd be happy to help. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time guys. Cheers.